Uh, test, test. Test one, two. Test one, two. Welcome to this unplanned reaction video. I woke up, saw all the thumbnails, and I was like, yeah, I gotta do a video about this. <laughs> Since uh, the 90s animated X-Men was a huge part of my childhood, huge part of my Saturday mornings, watching this damn cartoon along with the Spider-Man animated series and, of course, the great... Batman animated series, the the great Kevin Conroy, rest in peace, greatest Batman of all time, but uh, they're back, the X-Men are back, on Disney Plus that is, <laughs> I'm not sure if they got the same animators and writers and voice actors, it looks like they got the same animators so far, let's check it out. Let's see what's going on. Watch the series finale of X-Men next Saturday morning. Check your local listings. I'm going also, the Japanese animated version of X-Men was pretty damn cool also. But uh, I have all of the seasons on DVD of the original animated series of this. And I have, of course, tons of action figures. Marvel Animation. Yeah, it looks like they we have, to stay vigilant. have the same animators for this. Us with his dream. No matter how dark it is, we must believe in each other. Charles. Charles and Magneto. Uh, here we go. We get this done by working together as a team. Jeez, Bob. Keep buzzing in my ear. Yeah, it sounds like it's the same voice actors. Oh, the music. Wait, what? Jean Grey is pregnant? Oh, Gambit and Wolverine teaming up? Hell yeah. To me. Cyclops. Oh, they're all there. March 20th. Magneto, the last will and testament of Charles Xavier. Everything he built now belongs to me. Oh. Wait, so he wants to take over for Charles? Interesting. Hell yeah, let's replay this. Then I'll pause it at certain parts. Or try to, anyways. To stay vigilant. So wait, what was that on the Daily Bugle? Inside Scoop Mutant Fashion Show. Wait, so... Oh! Hey! Spider-Man! Is Spider-Man a mutant? <laughs> what does it say next to that? Hellfire Gala? Oh! All of the references. Cool! To stay vigilant. The professor entrusted us with his dream. How dark it is. Wait, go back there. So, are humans still protesting against mutants? Down with mutants, back to where you came from. Stop mutants. Evolution is, uh, something. Okay, I guess humans still are against the mutants. We must believe in each other. You know what's funny? I don't remember Professor X passing away. Get this done by working together as a team. Jeez, Bob. Keep buzzing in my ear. <laughs> March. And it's next month. Oh, man. The only thing that sucks is that I don't have Disney+. Plus. I never signed up for Disney+. Plus, Not even once. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's look at that again. Looks like Jean Grey is pregnant. So, wait. A little bit before that. Showed... A belly. Someone touching that belly right there. So that's Jean Grey, right? In the sh in the green, yeah, because she's wearing the green. All right, so the child of Jean Grey and Cyclops here. Um, uh, I'm trying to remember the name. It wasn't X Man, right? Like that was his literal 
the the literal name of the character X Man. I might be thinking of uh, ah no, that took place in the alternate future. I think though, with the whole um, Age of Apocalypse storyline. Well, anyways, they might not be following the comics to a T. This is awesome. Look at this. This is cool. Wolverine <laughs> and Gambit teaming up like this. Look at that, and he's got the bow staff, dude. Not gonna lie, this trailer's getting me excited. To me, my X-Men. Look at this. They're back! All the X-Men. All the X-Men and women are back. Cyclops, Beast over here to the right. Wolverine was one of my favorites as a kid growing up. Uh Bishop, Rogue, got Gambit here, and Okay. Uh I'm a bit confused who this is would this be morph because they got the coat or is that um caliban because caliban has the uh the white head that kind of looks like that but it could be morph because i'm i'm looking at the jacket ah that's either morph or caliban or someone else well let's continue on also jubilee is back but jubilee is not in that shot damn it dun dun Dun, dun. Magneto, the last will and okay, so let's pause it here. Everyone in their, uh, <laughs> I guess their casual summertime clothing. Well, Wolverine, he likes to go topless. But yeah, we got uh, Scott Summers here, Cyclops, Wolverine, Jubilee. Jubilee's back. And I don't know if that's more for Caliban. It might be someone else. Someone will have to let me know. Storm's back. Rogue, Jean Grey. I assume that's Gambit back there. We got Bishop, Beast. They're all back. Testament of Charles Xavier. Everything and Magneto. What is his long hair? Oh. oh, man. The memories. The memories of this show. This is so cool, man. They're all back. This made my day. I, I, I had no plans. Or this was unplanned. And uh, when I woke up, looked on YouTube, and saw all the thumbnails, I was like, wait, they just dropped a trailer for this? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm excited for this. This is out in, what, March, they said? Oh, scrolling there. Ah, there it is. Yeah, this March. So that's next month. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, from the looks of it, it looks like they got the same animators, uh, same voice actors, because Wolverine sounded a bit... A bit older, so I wonder if they had got the original voice actor for him. And, uh... I assume they got the same writers. But, yeah, I'm happy that this is uh, continuing on, even though it's many years later. <laughs> We're in, like, what? It's, uh... Oops, I was trying to pause it there. Sorry. There we go. Even though we're in, what, 2024? Series ended in, what, 97? Well, it's been a while. Oh, man. Dude, if this does successful, this can open the doorway for other animated shows returning, such as Spider-Man, the animated series, which was one of my favorites, along with X-Men. And I don't know if they should bring Batman back, because there, there's no one else like Kevin Conroy. And now that he's sadly deceased, he sadly passed away, um, we might not get that level of voice acting ever again when it comes to a Batman animated series. But, uh, yeah, maybe maybe leave that one untouched. <laughs> uh, but anyways, dude. Dude. The X-Men are back. I'm, I'm so, so happy. So happy. They're all back. Look at this. Big part of my childhood. Um, this is what I always wanted for a live-action X-Men. I wanted the Jim Lee X-Men. But I remember, I will never forget this, when I went on a date with a uh, very attractive Hispanic woman to go see the first live-action X-Men movie in theaters. And I remember being disappointed and confused because everyone did not look like how they did from the comics. I was like, why, why is everyone wearing all black? Why does Sabretooth look like a hobo in a trench coat? Why does Magneto look like an old man? <laughs> I was so confused and conflicted after watching that movie, and uh, 
all of those, the only thing those movies ever did was make Hugh Jackman popular. Because Hugh Jackman be seemed to become the main focus of those movies going forward. And then, they, of course, they made the uh, the Wolverine spinoff films starring, of course, Hugh Jackman. And to be fair, they focus less on him with the newer movies. Because I did like First Class, X-Men First Class, because it focused on Charles and uh, Magneto. And of course, Hugh Jackman was in there, but only as a short, funny cameo. But First Class was awesome. I loved it. And then Days of Future Past, which <sighs> I guess focused on Hugh Jackman again. Uh, X-Men Apocalypse. Hugh Jackman was a cameo in that one. And the last one was, what, The Dark Phoenix? They tried to do the whole Phoenix thing again, and that ended up failing. But Hugh Jackman was not in that one, if I'm not mistaken. But guess what? Hugh Jackman is back again! <laughs> uh, he's going to be in Deadpool 3, but this time in the yellow and blue outfit. It only took them, I don't know, so many years to actually get the comic book accurate uh, outfits, and they're finally going to do it for Deadpool 3. So I wonder who do we have to thank for that? Do we have Ryan Reynolds to thank for that? Or Disney? Because <laughs> Disney... I, I don't trust Disney anymore, but... Uh, Ryan Reynolds, thanks to him, he's keeping Deadpool uh, rated R. And we're finally finally getting our comic book accurate Wolverine in that movie. Uh, because, yeah, with the original live action movie, that was just... That, that, that just disappointed me to no end. I was like, man, this is not my X-Men. But, uh... Yeah. I think my date liked it, though, at the time. <laughs> I don't know. She didn't look interested either. Funny thing about that story is um, after that movie ended, we snuck into another screening of another movie. And that movie was me, myself, and Irene starring Jim Carrey. And we had a lot more fun watching that one. Uh, but anyways, yeah. This movie, or sorry, not this movie, this trailer for this uh, continuation of this this classic series got me pretty excited today. This was an unexpected reaction video. Did not think they were going to drop the trailer for this today. But, uh... No, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see how this story is going to progress. Now that Charles is gone, and it seems like Magneto wants to... To... Not really take over, but... I guess, sort of, like... He wants to... Step forward in his place. To, I guess somewhat lead the X-Men. I don't know. I don't know. Can't really tell from the trailer. But I'm happy. My boys are back. My ex-boys are back. My ex-boys and my ex-girls. They're all back. And this. this. Somebody tell me who this is. Is, is this Caliban or Morph? Because the jacket has me thinking Morph. Alright. Anyways. Thanks for watching. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay awesome. Later.